Walk here guys, it's Friday night, I've just finished work. Let's get these dirty overalls off and we're going for a stealth camp right outside this factory. Oh, oh yes, you know what makes sense man dingoes. Right. them folks so I've just had to drive me van out of the factory car park because they locked the gate on a night time and on a weekend <coughs> so I'm just sitting here for a few minutes I think everyone's gone but I'm just gonna sit and chill for about 15 minutes just to make sure there's no one kicking around then I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drive further along the road and park up around the corner somewhere because everyone I know, all the lads who work in there, they all know that I do stealth camming every weekend. They know I've got the YouTube channel. So if any of the lads notice me van here, they're gonna work out that I'm camping somewhere, you know, not too far away. So I'm gonna hide me van round the corner somewhere and then we'll walk back in. That's where I'm looking to get guys. Just by the side of the road, in them bushes behind there. This is a bit of a concern. It's a foreign van, it's got foreign number plates on. Looks like they're having a sleep. Having the nap dingo, man dingoes. So, like I say, I'm only gonna be a few meters away, so I'll have to keep the noise down. Pfft, good luck with that, when I've had a few waskies, because I have got a nice bottle of wasket tonight. I will show you that later on, guys. That's been kind of given to me. I've got some food to cook as usual, some snackaroonies, and loads of shite to talk. Okay then, guys, I will bring you back in a minute. Oh, oh yes, you better believe I will. Ah. Oh. So, guys, if you're wondering why I'm doing this stealth camp right outside my workplace, well, the reason is, I've had loads of people over the last few weeks asking me to either stealth camp next to where I work and then go straight to work in the morning or straight after work, do a stealth camp right next to where I work. <laughs> um, I've put it off for a while because I'm thinking, uh, you know, I don't want to be next to work I'm there, I'm there long enough, aren't I? All week working. But tonight just works out perfect. Because it's like I say, it's Friday night. I've just finished work. Mrs. Blot has got a rare night off work tomorrow night. Saturday night. She normally works every Saturday. So she wants to go out for a meal tomorrow night. Nothing posh or anything like that. We're just going to go through the Metro Centre. Mrs. Blot likes five guys. Oh, matron. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to go through the Metro Centre, get some nice burgers. So I'm getting this camp in now, on a Friday, straight after work. <laughs> That's about the third time I've said that already, isn't it? I'll not keep saying it, man, dingoes. Anyway, I'm going to keep the noise down, because just around the corner, that's where that van, or truck, whoever it was, that's where that's parked up. And I don't want them hearing us getting into a stealth camping spot. I'll bring you back in a few seconds, guys, when I'm ready to make a move and get in the bushes. Right. Okay, folks. Looks like they've got the curtain shut in that little truck. There's houses down there. Hopefully no one's looking. The last thing you want is some nosy neighbour phoning the old Politsky. Oh, it's a bit boggy. Might not be too bad through here. That's not too bad. Yes, I can make this work. That's a decent spot. I'll show you what I can see there. 
You can just see him make out that van through the bushes. I don't want to go any further along, because them bushes are still a bit bare. You can see my factory through there, but there's no one around. I've definitely getting in without anyone seeing us. No problem at all. That's my only worry. But this spot, little ding dang do for this man dingo, you better believe it will. I'm going to quickly get my tent set up now. See you in a minute. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I've just been taking my time getting set up. I think I've been on about 40 minutes. Try not to make any noise because of that van parked over there. Let's show you my setup for tonight, Mandingos. You know the drill, guys. I've got the foil mat down. I've got my burghouse mat. I've got my old, raggy, stinking four season sleeping bag. My Trek Orangey pillar. There's my Baghdad down the bottom. All my warm clothes and spare clothes for later. Let's have a look at my drinks. I've got a lovely half bottle, well, less than half, a bottle of Glenfiddich Orchard Experiment, I think it's called. Kindly given to me from a legend by the name of John Macy. Cheers, John, my man friend. I've also got four cans of Storford Press Cider. On special in Morrison's, £3.50. Oh yes, I love a bargain, guys. For my main meal, oh yes, you better believe who's back in town. Uncle Bensky beats international player boy Bunny Borrow insurance with British gas prices are far too high on life, man, dingoes. Oh yeah. With that, I've got some sweet and smoky barbecue chicken breast slices, some button mushrooms. That's certainly going to be a meal fit for a mandingo. Snackaroonies. I've got I've got two sausage rolls from Greg's. I've got two packets of Brown's Biltong. The traditional flavour and the peri peri. Check out the link in the video description guys. Click that link. That'll take you through to Brown's Biltong's own website. Use the code MANDINGO for your discount. What else have I got? Some water. I've got a coffee there in case I fancy one. But I think I'm going to go straight onto the old can dingoes, MANDINGOS. You know what I'm talking about. And you know what makes total sense. Lice. Just been chilling out. I haven't been recording, just been sitting relaxing. I've had three cans of cider. When I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, oh, oh yeah, I need to I need to record something. I need to make a video for you, absolute legends. Aye, so <laughs> I might as well answer a little question here. Why not? The main question I've had this week, definitely after, you know, what I was telling you last week about the Blot Outdoor Show private party when Uncle Bensky stuck a nut on the man from Del Monte. Like I said last week, it was all sorted out. Within 20 minutes to half an hour, they were sitting together having a waski. No problems at all. Everything was sorted. But... I must have had a hundred comments this week 
asking us, is everything okay with Uncle Bensky and the man from Del Monte? You know, there's been no repercussions, has there? Or anything like that? Um, well, no, because <laughs> I've already said, haven't I? Everything was sorted straight away. The two Chris's got in and then broke it up. Um, the man from Del Monte accepted Uncle Bensky Bates' apology. There you go. <laughs> that was it. Um, I've actually rang Uncle Ben up. Was it Friday today? It was on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I give Uncle Bensky a phone call. You know, just to reassure him that he is going to be the main sponsor of the Blood Outdoor Show. He was still a little bit concerned, you know, thinking, wait, will the man from Del Monte try to muscle in and give me free stuff, you know, try and butter me up? And like I say, I've told them I'm not interested in stuff like that. I'm not the type of person. I'm not the type of person that'll take free stuff off people. Just for nothing. Yes, I know I took the e-bike before. That was something I couldn't turn down. I'll give that to me son, little blot. I couldn't afford to buy me bike. But yeah, I've told Duncan Bensky, don't worry, I ain't taking no freebies off the man from Del Monte. I'm as good as me word. You know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Anyway, guys, hope everyone is happy with answer that question. Everything is happy, dingoes. On the Blood Outdoor Show, no problems. The man from Del Monte and Uncle Bensky were as sound as a pound. I'm going to sit and chill out. I'm going to have another can. And I will bring you back very soon. Right, so. Cheers guys, I'm on my fourth and final can of Storford Press. I've just walked away from my camping spot further into the trees. The bloke from the van, the foreign bloke, he's just popped out and he's having a slash garden in the bushes. And he's having a cigarette. So, uh, I don't want to sit there talking shite and get rumbled. Oh. I might as well answer another question here. Before I do that, I just want to say, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit off tonight. I've been ill with flu the last two days. And talking about flu, poor little Mick, he's been off work two weeks and he's never off work Mick unless he's really bad when he had the first week off we were thinking oh well he'll be back on Monday next Monday and then he's had another week off um, hopefully he's back next week because I'm wanting to get little Mick out and do one of them foodie type videos and then hopefully next weekend he's back out on another stealth camp There must be two. There must be two blokes in that van, because I can hear them talking over there. I don't know if they're Polish or something. I mean, not like they're going to do anything to me, but if them hear me in the bushes, <laughs> them are going to be wondering what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not scared. 
was I saying? I'm talking shite as usual, guys. Yeah, I've been full of flu the last two days. Me son, little blot, he's been ill all week. He's been off school with a viral infection. Mrs. Blot wasn't feeling too well, but she's, she's okay now. And I've been ill yesterday. Yesterday I was thinking, I don't think I'll be able to go out camping this weekend. But I haven't been too bad the day. I still feel like shit. But, you know, us rock hard northern lads, we're not going to let a bit flu keep us indoors, are we? I'd rather be outside now, getting some fresh air, having a candingo and a waski, sitting chatting shite to you guys. Aye, anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? I'll answer another question. And the question is, well, it's a double question. It's two questions, so I'm going to make it into a double one. The questions are... <coughs> the questions are, um, what YouTube channels inspired me to start my YouTube channel? Oh, fucking hell. Another van, another truck parking up there in the in the beer. I'll have to keep the noise down when I go back over there, manding goes. Yeah, so what how how are Chris get back on these questions? What channels inspired me? And what channels on YouTube am I currently watching now? Channels that I haven't named before. Right. So the channels. This is just off the top of my head. Like I say, I don't really rehearse what I'm going to say. I just press record and shite comes out my mouth. When I first started watching YouTube, I was going hiking in the Lake District with the lads. And I used to just type in, um, Lake District hiking or wild camping in the Lake District. And the first channels I was watching was MCM Outdoors. As a lad called Chris runs that channel. Absolutely fantastic channel. He should have a... God, he should have over a hundred thousand subscribers. His channel is proper. It's it's proper professional. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah. So MCM Outdoors, check that one out, guys. Everything I see, I'm going to leave a link for them channels in the description of this video. Um, who else? Alan Metalman Outdoors. Yeah, I know I've mentioned Alan before, but I've got to mention him again because it's the answer in this question. Yeah, I was watching Alan a few years ago. You know, he's 68 year old now, and he still gets out hiking up the mountains and the Lake District, and Yorkshire Dales, and nothing stops Alan. I've actually been out on a hike with him uh, last year. If you haven't seen that video, guys, go back and check it out. Alan's a great guy, and he's from the Northeast as well, just like me. And he's a Sun fan. <laughs> All right, Alan, mate, if you're watching. Um, who else? Oh, obvious one. I know I've mentioned his name a few times before. Steve Wallace, the king of stealth camping. Yep, that was an obvious one, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, there's just three off the top of my head. There's more, but I just, I can't think, and I've already been talking for too long. There's three channels that inspired me to start mine. Right, what channels am I currently watching? Channels I haven't named before. Well, there's one that springs to mind straight away. He has been mentioning me. Lately, in his videos, it's called his channel is called Grizzly Gars, or he's called Grizzly Gars. He's got a fantastic channel. If you like my channel, you'll definitely like Gars' channel. If you want to watch YouTube to cheer you up, you know, and make you feel good, watch Gars' channel. He's always happy and smiling. He's having a laugh. You know, he's got his little dog with him. He does all like spooky camps in the woods and stuff like that. So yeah, Grizzly Gars. He's got a great channel. Um, I think he's got about 2,000 subscribers, less than me at the minute. But his channel is absolutely... It's, it's flying, and deservedly so. It won't be long. I'm telling you, by the end of this year, I think he'll have 100k, or nearly 100k. So, I, if you're watching, guys, there you go, mate. You've got a fantastic channel. Um, who else am I currently watching? A local lad called Matty Fox um, he, he hasn't got many videos out he's done a mixture of like 
whale camping, camping in the woods. He's done a few stealth camps. Um, a lot of people keep asking me to stealth camp at the Angel of the North, and I was going to do it, but he beat us to it. So I thought, well, I can't do it if young Matty's already done it. He's only a young lad, he's only in his 20s. But I check his channel out, Matty Fox, um, another one. Yeah, there's a stealth camper from down the Midlands called Richie Outdoors. He's got a really good channel. He likes to have a laugh. He doesn't take himself too serious. He does loads of stealth camping. I was watching him um, last week. Stealth camping. Was it last week or the week before? Stealth camping outside a hotel. That's the kind of things that he does, guys. <laughs> he, he likes to make stupid noises. He always goes... <laughs> I was reading his comments. and I was reading his comments. And um, someone commented on his video saying, if you don't stop doing that noise, you know, I'm going to unsubscribe to you. So I left um, Richie Outdoors a comment saying, look, uh, take no notice, mate, of people saying things like that. Do you know what I mean? You do your videos, your style. Do you know what I mean? Don't change the way you are because of what other people are complaining about. So I, I mean, when Arthur stealth camped um, behind the biffer bins, I got loads of shit for that. But I don't care. I was doing what I like to do, what I enjoy. You guys seem to enjoy it. And that's kind of what I was trying to tell Richie Outdoors. Anyway, check his channel out as well. I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link for all the channels I've been talking about. Anyway, <laughs> nine minutes. Bloody hell. Nine minutes I've been talking utter shite. So thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm boring the living daylights out here. Yeah? I'm now going to... Mm, pardon me. That side is always gassy. I'm now going to sit and chill for a few minutes without recording. Oh, and I might even have a little waski. Oh, yeah. You know what makes total sense, man, dingoes. Right. It's good news guys, that van has gone, <laughs> I'm happy about that, let's get back in the bushes here, that means later on when I'm doing the world famous Waski with you, I don't have to worry about being heard talking shite in the bushes. <laughs> Time for a little chess warmer. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, man, dingoes. You know what time it is. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week, guys. Glen Fiddick Orchard Experiment. Kindly given to me from a legend by the name of John Macy. Cheers, John. My man friend. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still not feeling great. Put a few waskies. I'll sort my chest out. I've got the old famous cub dingo, so let's get that popped in there, guys. Oh, yes. All righty. Let's get the old schneckaroni in it. Mmm, straight away. I'm getting green apples. I'm also getting vanilla. I wasn't expecting that. With it being the orchard 
fruity one, you know. Vanilla, definite green apples. I'm also getting a little bit toffee. I don't know if it's just because I'm all bunged up and I'm not smelling things right, but that's what I'm getting, guys. Green apples. Yeah, a little bit toffee there. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting lysicles. Mm. Oh, yeah, it is fruity. I'm getting apples and pears there straight away in the taste mandingos. some mild spices I can feel it tingling on the old tongue dingo man dingoes oh it's really nice though you know when you've got a good one you can feel that nice creaminess in your mouth seeping down your throat Ew. Oh, now I'm getting like the, the zest of oranges and lemon. Really fruity. I know it sounds pretty obvious. It's called Glenfiddich Orchard Experiment. But you really can taste this. You can, guys. It's a top quality whiskey. And for John to buy me this, it's so kind of him. It's a £45 bottle of whiskey. So, once again, John, my man friend, I really do appreciate it. You really didn't have to. Cheers, bud. Mm. It's not the kind of whiskey you'll see in the supermarkets. You've got to look online or go to a whiskey shop. And it is really, really nice. Yeah, definite apples and pears with the zesty orange and lemon thing going on, guys. And after a few tastes there, uh, mm, oh, it's tingling my lips. It has got a bit of a spicy kick to it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like a like a red fruit in the aftertaste with like a spicy oak thing going on my fan sexuals oh yeah absolutely top draw well I think I've slavered on too much in this video guys earlier on when I was talking shit for over nine minutes so I'm not gonna keep you any longer on this wee view I'm going to give that Glenfiddich Orchard Experiment. I'm going to give it a massive, big fat 9 point. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> See, you can tell I'm not faking shit because I can't even. Ah, oh, what am I going to give it? See, because I've had some great whiskies lately. Yeah, I know what I'm going to give it. Mm. Pardon me. I'm going to give it a 9.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You better believe I am. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Well, guys... <laughs> That's the end of this week's Waski with you. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious wild coming. Right. Here we go, guys. Oh, uh, time to get in. Oh. 
Oh, I'm cold now. Let's get another whiskey. Warm us up. You know, it makes sense. Well, folks, <laughs> I'm back in the old ten dingo man dingoes. It's nearly three o'clock in the morning. Whew. I absolutely love that Waski review. What a quality, what a quality Waski. This is. Mm. You know, there's a few average ones, sometimes shit ones, you know, and a few good ones as well. You've got to put up with before you come across a lovely jubbly one. And that's what we've had tonight, guys. A quality bottle of whiskey. Oh. And I'm absolutely shattered as well. But it just it just goes together nice. The fact that I'm tired and just relaxing here in a lovely bottle quality bottle of waski is just fusing together Ooh. fusing together lovely jubbly this is what it's all about man dingoes you better believe it is all right guys I'm just gonna chill for a short while because like I say it's nearly it's nearly three o'clock in the morning. I'm getting a little bit peckish as well. Oh the light just dimmed there. <laughs> when I bring you back, we'll be cooking some food. <sighs> you know it makes sense. Right. <coughs> 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 Good morning, man, dingoes. 9.15. I did wake up at 7 o'clock. I was bursting for a slash, Gordon. So I quickly popped outside the tent. I got a quick... A quick pee and then I jumped back in the sleeping bag for another couple hours sleep. Apologies for not cooking the food last night guys. I just crashed out. I think it's because I I don't feel very well to be honest. <laughs> when I was sitting outside I fell asleep and then I came in Waffled a load of shite <laughs> for a couple of minutes. And then I thought, I'm just going to lie down for a few minutes. And then I'll cook the food. And that was it. Big mistake. I just, I was out for the count. So yeah. I'm really sorry for that, guys. I know a lot of you legends... That's the bit you love. You love watching us cooking the food and and eating it. But that's just the way it goes. You know, I've crashed out. I fell asleep. And, um, oh, there's not much I can do about that now. <laughs> I could cook it now, but I don't fancy eating chicken and rice and mushrooms this time of the morning. I'm not feeling too good, guys, this flu. 
It's killing us. But still being great to get out camping. Rather than lying on the sofa feeling sorry for myself in the house. So what I'm going to do now is, guys, I'm going to see a massive... <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm going to see a massive ginormous thank you to all of you legends who have supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. It's so kind of you. I know a lot of people are struggling. Everyone's skint, aren't they? The prices of everything's gone up. I know what it's like to be skint, guys. Um, and for you to go out your way and buy me a coffee or two coffees or whatever you've bought, it's, it's just so kind, and I really do appreciate it. More than you'll ever know. So, guys, thank you so much. Each and every one is, is a legend. Even if you haven't bought a coffee and you just and you just like to watch the, 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 the channel, then you leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. That's enough for me, guys. I really do appreciate that. But if you have bought us a coffee, this one's for you. You absolute legends. There's your names down there. And down there, guys. One more time. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Mandingos. You better believe I do. Right. <laughs> I think I'm going to get packed up now. Because Mrs. Blot... It'll be worrying about us. I'm going to get home. I'm going to have a few lem sips and try and get myself <coughs> try and get myself pulled round so I can take Mrs. Blot out tonight. You better believe it. Bring you back in a second, guys. So that's me all packed away guys, my bag's there, ready to put on my back, the old bin diesel, not as much in there as usual, because I didn't cook the food. That's where I had the tent. Been a little bit better now to be honest. Now I've getting up and getting sorted. Just lying there, thinking, oh god, I don't feel well. Really, once I was up at seven o'clock, I should have just got up. Yeah, I should have just got up and stayed up <laughs> and got packed away at seven o'clock. But anyway, <laughs> I'm all sorted now. There's a van parked over there. A bloke's just sitting in it. To be honest, I'm not really bothered now. If he can see me in here. And when I walk out, he's going to see us. Makes no difference now, does it? Because camp's all done and dusted. Okay then guys, I'll bring you back in a second when I'm walking back to the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual. Lice. Here we go folks. That's it. Let's make a move for it. 
there's my factory. No one's at work today. Let's go. Sorted. So that's it folks, that's the end of this video, the old Van Dingo is in sight, parked up along there, it's been pretty good hasn't it, <sighs> it was good to get out even though I felt like shit, Whew. lovely and warm, need to get this jacket off, anyway Van Dingoes, <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment i do read everyone and tell people about the blood outdoor show try and help me get this channel a little bit bigger you know what i'm talking about next week guys i'll be back out on another stealth camp for the main video on the sunday night hopefully the little mandingo little schmick is back at work and he's back out camping and i might as well do another foodie thing during the week seem to be going down well them videos i enjoy doing them as well so yeah, there'll be a foodie video next Friday and there'll be a stealth camping video next Sunday. See you then, you absolute legends. <laughs> right. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, air mason.